three, two, one, go! Hello dears, I'm going to describe about an example of descriptive text, especially in tourism place. To make you understand, you must listen to me carefully. The title is Lembrapalangi Waterfall. Lembrapalangi Waterfall sounds unfamiliar for either local or foreign tourists. Lembrapalangi Waterfall is located in Sukhumayu village, Alubelu subdistrict, Tangamis district, Lampung province, Indonesia. The access to this place is quite difficult because Alubelu subdistrict is a remote area in Lampung with its hilly contours which make this tourist spot elusive. Lamba Palangi waterfall has two levels where the waterfall on the second level has two branches. The height of the first level waterfall is about 100 meters, while the second level waterfall is about dozens of meters. The best enchantment of this waterfall is the rainbow which appears between the valley and the waterfall as the name suggests. The soft flowing gurgling waterfall sounds is like a chant of nature which can remove the tiredness of the long trip to go there. Under the waterfall, there are several spots of warm water which can be an interesting spot for bathing. In this place, you will be shown a panorama of natural beauty which is very interesting for every pair of eyes seeing it. Rocky hills accompanied by leafy trees will actually soothe both your eyes. Good morning students, now I'm going to tell you about a tourism place. Listen to me well and let's begin. Sempailang National Park Sempailang National Park is a wetland that has a wide range of forest ecosystems. In this national park, there are at least four distinct ecosystems include peat swamps, mangrove forests, freshwater swamps, and mudland. Administratively, this is an area that became part of the district Banyuasin and has been named as a national park since the 19th of March 2003. This area is called the Sempilang because there are so many Sempilang fish or Plotos as Canyas called in Latin. In Banyuasin Peninsula, there is the east coast of South Sumatra and this is the river which is really suitable for water birds. Soil conditions and bordered by mangrove forests are the perfect location for the worm-like mollusks and crustaceans. That is why there are many water birds living in there. Some bird species include the Conchulchina, Igreta ulafots, Trinalum purasia, Limnotroma semipalmatus, Danpud and Dang Topin, Heliopay personata. There are some kinds of 30 birds migrating from their main habitat. Those birds live in the Banuasin Peninsula in order to avoid the winter at their main location in Siberia and the Korean Peninsula. <laughs> 